running, they running, they running right after me. Yeah. Cause I'm number one, so that means everyone come after me. Hey. I'm at the top and they pray that I fall. Call me LeVar, the way that I ball. They want a little, but I need it all. Yeah, yeah. Had to finesse through the matrix. I'm here to take it. Beat all the odds like we just gambled in Vegas. We gonna make it, it's so amazing Gotta stay real through the fakeness People like seasons, they changing That's just a part of the greatness Greatness, greatness That's just a part of the greatness Chasing the Benjamin Franklin They was all waiting I had to go out and take it Take it, take it I had to go out Right now, we're just warming up A little bit of band work I'm gonna do walking side steps Walking lunges with a band around my knees Just to get things fired up and activated Break a bit of a sweat and then we jump into the workout. <laughs> Olympia is just always something that's like no words to even describe. The experience is amazing. My first Olympia, my second one, this being my third one, just as incredible. We're all just so grateful to be on that stage, especially after the year that we've had with COVID. So grateful is just the main word to describe it, but what an incredible event. It was in Orlando this year. Probably one of my favorite Olympias that I've attended, and not just because of my placement, but the show was run so well. Everything was really convenient, and the production was absolutely incredible. The stage for finals was insane. If you guys haven't watched it, you need to go find some videos on it because it was just an incredible production. So shout out to Olympia team. You guys did an amazing job, and all of us athletes, thank you guys for it. But yeah, it was an amazing experience, lots of fun. Um, I placed second, so I'm super proud of myself because Second in the world is pretty good, so I'm proud of myself for that. But as you guys know, I was saying that I was aiming to go in for the title, so me placing second kind of just proved to me that I am uh, right up there and that I can compete for the title. So I think it just gives me a little bit of confidence going into next year's show that, you know, I am up there, I am deserving of that title, and I'm going to go all in for the title next year. So. Now that the 2020 Olympia is behind us and we're going into 2021, what are your goals for this year and you know coming up? What are your plans? So 2021, I am holding myself to a really high standard in terms of my goals. Um, I think, like I said, placing second at the Olympia kind of proved to myself that I am worthy of winning that title and winning big titles. Because truth be told, as much as I said that I was going for that first place win, deep down, I think I kind of was doubting myself. Um, and that was one thing that I really wanted to improve on was my confidence and I think that I kind of got in my head before the Olympia a little bit so going forward 2021 my goal is mainly mindset focused my physique I'm not really going to change anything my my feedback from the judges was not to change anything um, the main thing that I want to change is my mindset to believe that I am worthy and that I can win and I can be the champ so that's my biggest thing is mindset change and just you know believing that I'm good enough to win so mindset is my biggest thing 2021 goals I'm hoping to do the Arnold if I get the invite which will be um, I think September but that's not the official date yet so don't hold me to that we'll need to requalify for the Olympia so if I win the Arnold which would be amazing that'll requalify me if not I will do another show to qualify but the goal is to win the Arnold I'm putting that out there right now so you guys heard it here first the goal is to win the Arnold and we're gonna be bringing my absolute best there <laughs> How do you transition from such strict dieting and training preparing for the Olympia to the off season, keeping yourself in shape and how do you deal with the post show expectations? So for me personally, I think the biggest thing is finding that balance that works for you. For everyone it's going to be a little bit different. Um, 
I like to eat healthy. I still eat the same meals that I eat when I'm in prep. However, I do like to snack and I do like to enjoy a meal out on the weekend or two meals out on the weekend. So I try and find a middle ground where I'm still enjoying what I'm eating, but I'm also living a healthy, sustainable lifestyle. I don't want to transition from being in the best shape of my life to gaining a ton of weight where I feel uncomfortable. So I think just finding a middle ground, uh, for me that's about 10 pounds above my stage weight where I can still enjoy what I'm doing, I enjoy my training, I feel good, I feel healthy and my body's performing optimally while still looking good and I still feel comfortable in my skin. So for everyone it's going to be a little bit different but finding that balance where you can still be healthy and live a sustainable lifestyle while enjoying some cheat meals or some snacks that you want to enjoy with friends and family. I can see right where you now. Full moon rise, I'm running you down. You try to erase me like a fade into the walls. Cover the tracks, yeah, like I wasn't there at all.